Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Munson from the library. I've been working with your teachers on some issues you may be having with submitting assignments. And so I am going to go over lots of different options for you. And the first one I wanna start with is, sometimes students are um, having trouble, they turn in an assignment and then they think it's great and the teacher may get the assignment and it's blank. And a lot of times this can be alleviated by checking what you submitted in Canvas to make sure it's the correct assignment. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at how to resolve that. So in Canvas, you're gonna to go to the grades section in the left sidebar, and you're going to then find your assignment that you just turned in. Then this is an example, cause I am not a student, so I had to take another example um, a screenshot. So this may not look exactly like yours, but it's close. So here's an assignment that was submitted and it will, and you guys see this. So submission details, here's the name of the assignment, the date and so on over here. And it's kind of blocked out cause it has a student's name on it, but over here is the assignment that was turned in. So this happened to be a PowerPoint. Yours might be a PDF. It could be anything, but you then can click on it it will download to your computer and you can open and see what that document is. So my suggestion is so for your classes, when you turn in work, always go to the assignment from grades, open the assignment, click on the file name and make sure it is correct. If it's not correct, go back and locate the original file, make sure it's it looks the way you want it to, save it again, and then resubmit over here. If it's still not working that way, then you'll need to work with your teacher, maybe submit a screenshot to let them know that you're submitting um, the correct document. But most of the time, what is right here is what, this, what you've uploaded. Um, again, let us know if there are any glitches. Okay, the next thing, some teachers are um, having you turn in paper copies via um, your either your phone or you can use your MacBook um, photo booth. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about submitting assignments with your, um, we're using photo booth, so taking a picture of your assignment. So here's just something that I scratched down that I had on my desk. Um, I took a picture, notice I'm in it, my finger is in it, you can see my nail polish, you can see the lights of the library, but we don't want that. The teacher, some teachers are especially saying that the text they cannot read, it's not very clear. So I recognize that it's hard to keep it steady. You could get a clipboard or something to hold onto it so it's flat, hold it up to the webcam, take the picture and it's okay if there's stuff around it, we just need to make it look better. So under um, under your picture that you're, you have taken, look at the share arrow and I want you to click that and choose notes. So choose notes. Once you're in notes, it may pop up for the first time and ask you to set up an iCloud account. If it does that, I can't remember if you click okay or cancel, but you do something like that to remove the alert and just continue to note. So if it says, hey, set up an iCloud account, cancel that part um, because it's not allowed on, uh, it's not available on these Macs. So once you're in, and you may, I will say, if that happens, you may have to go back into photo booth and export again to notes that alert sometimes throws it off. But once you've done that, you will be in this section where it says assignment, well, I just called it assignment one, and then you will see what you, the image you uploaded. So here's the deal, this is, this is the image you uploaded, but it has all the stuff around it we don't want. We're going to mark it up by clicking, when we hover over the image, the arrow on the right hand side. When we click on that, markup comes up. So click markup. Once you've done that, then a toolbar appears and in the toolbar there will be a crop icon right here. You're going to then click on that crop icon and handles appear. Here's one, for example, it's a white handle that outlines the corners of the image. Move those corners to where you can get the background out, the, um, if you have yourself, your face, your images, whatever else. Then you'll crop it and click done. Then it will look beautiful and you're ready to um, get it into a PDF format to submit. So from there, go to file, 
export, and this is a note, so file, export as PDF. When you do that, it will export it to um, your um, computer as a PDF file and that you can automatically upload to Canvas. And again, once you've done that, make sure that you have, that you double check that your assignment uploaded Hey correctly. guys, we're also going to switch gears now and take a look at what you do if you're taking a picture from an iPhone. You're going to use Notes. So Notes is available on every single iPhone. Click the camera icon and choose Scan Documents. Then your camera will appear. And as you see in this example, it's just a picture of um, something on a screen. So we're just taking a picture of it. Then it goes into Notes. And you say keep scan. Then from there, you will choose the image and use the crop tool in the bottom left to resize so that you can take out the background. And then choose the share arrow to locate Google Drive. And once you locate Google Drive, it's going to ask you to choose your account. I suggest your Blue Valley account. And then from there, it will give you um, maybe a title of the PDF. You can click and rename it. Once you've renamed it, you can upload it to Google Docs. And then from there, go into Canvas and upload the file. Now, if you have the Canvas app on your phone, instead of choosing Google Drive, when you go to the share arrow, choose Canvas and go through the process of saving to um, or uploading to the assignment in the Canvas app. Let us know if you have any questions.